Welcome once again, friends and enemies, to Weekly Allowance, where we have been steadily reviewing every single figure in the Cosmic Legions line. So today we're reviewing not one, but two figures. Two, two figures. And that's just because they're the same species. They look about the same with some uh, key differences. So I just thought we would go ahead and look at them both and then kind of compare and contrast. So we've got two Sphexians, the Sphexian Prison Guard and the Sphexian Block Commander. And I was very excited for these guys. So far I've said that about every figure in this line, but it's true. I've been super pumped for this series. So something that we noticed for these two figures is that there are paint smears on the plastic here. It's like the figure rubbed up against the plastic and just let left a smear of residue behind, but I don't see how that's possible um, unless it was crushed, and I don't think it was crushed because there's no other sign of anything being damaged in that way. But it's on both of them in the same spot, and it's definitely paint from the toy. This one has a little bit of a um, some chips off the paint on the forehead, so I don't know what happened. So we're going to look at the box, as is tradition, and we will set this one aside for that. He's a chunky looking boy, or girl. Could be a lady, uh, weird cicada thing. Just as before, Havakultar lore on this side. Character, or should I say, uh, <laughs> species and occupation lore on this side. Of course, on the back you get everything else that comes in the wave. Bottom, trademarks, communication, warnings. Don't give this to babies. If you give it to a baby, well, babies don't want to play with a giant bug, so just don't give it to a baby. I don't know, maybe they do. I don't know anything about babies. I was one once, so I hear. Not anymore. Not anymore. Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to open the prison guard first because it's blue. And of course, insectoid aliens are not unheard of. It is pretty common to take inspiration from insects to design aliens, but I think this one was executed really well. We're all familiar with reports of people getting abducted by praying mantis aliens, right? No? Have I just been listening to weird AM radio again? There's a really cool background. That looks awesome. I'm assuming that this is the prison block, but it kind of looks like a workshop. You could really double it for a, a lot of different environments. Really beautiful and atmospheric. It's crazy how they just, I mean, they're not hiding it, but how they're just hiding beautiful artwork like this inside the package. Once again, I know it's not really hiding, but it's just like something that if I painted, I would want everyone to see. So I hope when people open up these packages, they're taking a look at the beautiful background art. Okay, we've got a double clamshell situation like with Kragnar. We got the wings and it looks like a antenna and mandibles. And then the base figure and some accessories here. Okay, so before we look at the figure, a warning. I broke this gun while trying to get it out of the package. It was really just jammed in there. It has these two sharp points that were attached right here. They're so small it's hard to see them but the plastic was overlapping them a bit and they just snapped right off when I tried to get this out of the plastic. Uh, it is very brittle, which is fine for the majority of the gun because it's kind of a rounded oblong shape, but these points be super careful because they will snap right off. I'm sure I'll be able to glue these points back on, but just, you know, something to look out for. So the Sphexian Guard does have wings. I'm going to put those in in a minute, but first I wanted to go over the figure without them and look at articulation and stuff. I have a feeling the wings might get in the way a little bit. It's a little wet because I loosened up the joints with hot water like you're supposed to before just diving in and wrenching away at the joints. I said it about Kragnar, I said it about Ziri, but man, I really love this. I love the paint they used. It's a metallic sparkly paint, iridescent in the blue parts. They shift from purple to blue. Uh, it's really beautiful. How dare they give this gross bug monster such beautiful armor? <laughs> no, I don't think it's gross. I think she's beautiful. She wants to keep doing the splits. I don't know why I'm calling her a she. If they're based on a hive, then I'd assume that most are female. I mean, this is an alien species, so we can't analog with Earth life too hard, but, but you know, ants, bees, the workers are usually ladybugs. Not ladybugs, but ladybugs. That beautiful armor is kind of <laughs> offset by these gross details, like this armor plating coming out of the back, this like a uh, abdomen region, which is funny because this would be the abdomen of a bug, but it already has a human-like abdomen right here. So would this be considered a tail in this creature? Just something to think about. It's tipped off with a really, uh, impressive stinger. Probably wouldn't want to be on the receiving end of that. The mandibles are beautiful, really well sculpted. The paint is great, subtly tipped in red, very shiny. They feel nice. And I'm wondering if this uh, insignia right here is like the Sphexian insignia, because it looks kind of like a cicada or some kind of other insect. 
I wonder if that's kind of like uh, their mark. They also get a cool belt with lots of pouches. I guess they haven't invented hammer space yet. One day, we'll see. So for now, you just need to carry all your stuff in pouches. Good range of movement on the head. They can do a very cute head tilt. I, I just seek to uh, make everything cute. These little uh, nubby legs on the chest don't move. At first I thought they might rotate, but I haven't been able to get them to, so I just I think they don't move at all. This back piece kind of gets in the way of arm articulation, but you can move it. It'll just kind of push up a little bit. Not much elbow. Mm, I mean, I guess the elbow is decent. Good range of movement on the wrist. Lots of twist on that torso. Is there any crunch? Not that I'm able to get. So this is on a uh, ball joint, so you can move it a little bit but you can only do so much with it before it wants to pop out. And that's fine too. Maybe you don't want your Spexian to have this uh, abdomen part. Let's just take that off. Lost it in the war. Ooh, nice movement on that leg. Was not expecting that. Yeah, all sorts of movement on the leg. That is a downside, however, because um, her feet want to keep just like slipping like that. Pretty big bend to the knee. That's not bad. Twist. It's a nice rocking movement on the ankle. Of course, back and forth. Yeah, so some decent articulation, I think. But as I've said, I've never uh, really cared that much about articulation. I really prioritize um, aesthetics, I guess, over it, which feels like a snobby thing to say, but, you know, we each have our uh, priorities on what we like, what we want out of things. If something looks super cool, I really don't mind if it can't get into, like, crazy poses. I'm trying to be very careful with this because these nubs, um, they're a little on the smaller side. I do not want them to snap off. Okay, so we've had another little whoopsie doodle with the wings. I heated up both the wing uh, pegs and the holes in the back, and then tried to uh, put the wings in and ended up chipping the paint or something. It's kind of hard to see, but yeah, some of the paint came off and revealed some like white underneath, but it's not super noticeable. It's just like uh, frustrating, annoying. I just hate to mar that beautiful armor. So that's just <laughs> another thing to be aware of. I plan on keeping the wings in so that'll cover it up anyway. And the wings are so beautiful. I love how they did this. You've got that plastic veining and then kind of like this uh, thin textured film. And even that's painted. It's yellowy green on the top and the bottom and kind of clearer in the middle. It's hard to get these to stand up, or at least it's hard to get mine to stand up. Just those hips just want to keep slipping. No more splits. You had your chance to be a world-class gymnast, but you gave up on that dream and now you're a prison guard. That's okay. It happens to the best of us. Very, very striking with the wings. So the wings are on a... Oh, yeah, they come out really easily. Oh, that's the one that I messed up and I'm don't, <laughs> I don't want to put it back in. I'm afraid. You shouldn't be afraid of messing around with your toys. So you're able to get rotation out of the wings and then some back and forth. Just be gentle for all the reasons that I have talked about. They can kind of uh, fold back and probably overlap. Yep, they overlap really nicely. Sorry, it's it was out of the uh, center of the frame, but yeah, overlap really nicely. And then that can add an extra bit of stability to your figure, I say, as I almost knock my camera over. <laughs> also, some more uh, visual interest in the back. Yeah, even for all its faults, I really love this figure. It just looks so good. So let's look at accessories for the guard, and then we will move on to the block commander, who I assume will be pretty much the same in most aspects. So there's the gun that I uh, messed up, that we talked about. Very interesting uh, color. Looks like it was made from some kind of bone. Like, even these look like weird eyes. I think this could be another thing, like I talked about with Ziri's mask, that it's uh, fashioned from some living alien creature. That kind of stuff is really interesting to me. Like, instead of just being, like, futuristic uh, metals and technology, it's some alien species just... Uh, repurposed <laughs> into a weapon. It's kind of messed up, but I like it. Be careful with this. Hands. So many hands. Lots of little spiky alien hands. Oh, I forgot about these. This whole time I've been talking about this alien and I've forgotten to give it its little uh, extra pseudo arms. Man, I'm not firing on all cylinders tonight. All right, come here. Come here, let's give you little arms. I'm sorry I forgot. So stiff already. So stiff. This one, it, yeah, is a big 
pain to be getting these extra parts in. Okay, so that that was an ordeal. That took a while, and then I had to get Patrick to come and do it because I I maybe I don't have enough finger strength. That's very possible, but I could not get these secondary arms in. It was so difficult. Like all the heating up in the world just wasn't doing it. Um, so now I'm really afraid to move them because if they pop out, I don't think I can get them back in uh, alone. But there is a hinge there, and of course a swivel. I'm being very gentle, sorry. Uh, another hinge right there, and a swivel there too. Just be gentle. Sorry for that detour, but on to hands. So many hands, and sorry for the wet spot on my review space. There's been a lot of uh, hot water involved in all this. So some of these are going to be for holding weapons, and I'm not sure which ones. I guess we'll see. Just these hands are shaped so differently from normal action figure hands. But there are a lot of them, so it should be every type of Spexian hand you could possibly want. Which is good, because prison guard also comes with uh, this menacing looking staff. Another one that looks like it's uh, probably powered by electricity. It's not only sharp, but it will electrocute you. And these adorable little pistols. Pew pew! They're so tiny. <laughs> I love them. I think they are meant to mount on the uh, forearm armor. There's just like so much stuff that can go on this figure, and a lot of it doesn't want to behave, so I'm very like nervous. Just like so many things that could pop off or even break if you're not careful. And that just adds even more bulk to our prison guard. So prison guard will also come with these clear pegs, just like Ziri did. In the last video I asked if anyone knew what they were for and Travis Wilcock, shout out Travis, said that they are to connect uh, accessories to these holes in the armor. Not so much the case with the Spexians so far because these larger weapons don't have holes for them to slot in. The forearm gauntlets are already occupied by these blasters, but for Ziri, works really well. This staff holding hand pegged in really easily, thank goodness, because I'm tired of things being difficult. It doesn't really want to hold the staff well if you just do it like this. So you want to kind of push the staff in past that first little bump in the thumb, and it will hold on to it. And I had to take the wings off to uh, put these other arms in, so let's put the wings back on. Very carefully. Some figures while absolutely beautiful, are just a pain to mess around with, and this is certainly one of them. I don't regret getting it at all because I love this. I love this design, I love the execution, the colors and everything, but it is rough. Went to put the other wing on, the other wing fell off, the staff fell out. <laughs> it's just, it's a mess. So this figure, <laughs> Back to my old saying of beautiful but frustrating. Didn't have a big problem with Kragnar, didn't have one with Ziri, but this one is a pain for sure. Maybe yours isn't as frustrating and that's great, but this one is... <laughs> woo! <laughs> it's definitely, uh, definitely uh, frustrating. Still don't regret it though, it looks super cool. I'm just going to put it in one pose <laughs> and leave it alone forever. Uh, so I'm nervous about the block commander. So let's set this one aside and look at uh, the other. Hoping this one won't be as frustrating, but uh, given that it is the same sculpt, basically, my hopes aren't high. Yeah, it looks like it's just pretty much the same situation, but with a different head sculpt and a different color. Beautiful green wings. Ooh, there's something stuck to this one. We'll look more at that in a minute. All right, so once again, Patrick had to put in these secondary arms for me. Thank you, Patrick. Where would I be without you? So yeah, pretty much the same as the uh, guard. The commander has an unmasked head, though. So this is what the Spexians look like underneath the mask. Uh, wet. <laughs> because we ran them under uh, warm water. It's a mean-looking alien bug face. Very beautiful blue eyes, though, but there's a definite scowl going on. This one is uh, colored slightly differently. It's still brown, but instead of darker brown accents, it's got dark green accents. So that will be a good way to tell uh, them apart if you've got both and you're wondering which hands belong to which. These are green, and these are brown. This one also has green striping on the back, and these nodules are painted a lighter color so they stand out more. The armor is a reddish orange with a 
purpley pink accents. We've got more of that iridescent sparkly paint. And the great thing about that is that the color shifts depending on the color of your light source. So my light source right now is kind of yellowy, so it's reflecting yellow. But when I turn the light to red, it reflects red. Since it's the same body type, you're going to get the same articulation as you did from the guard. So this wing, as you guys saw before, came with like an abnormality on it. It looks just like a, a piece of hot plastic that cooled onto the sculpt. So <laughs> I'm, I'm about to see if I can fix it. Uh, I'm nervous. I should just be able to kind of flick this off, right? My dog is whining in the background. Can you guys hear that? She's just upset because I'm in here and she's out there. So I had to chip away at it a little bit, but we got most of it off. I'm afraid to go any further. It's just going to have that little dot on there forever because I don't want to damage it any further. <laughs> I'm nervous. I don't want to put the wings in. It's so difficult for me, me and my weak fingers. I don't want to say that they're all going to be difficult, but that prison guard was uh, very hard. Okay, I'm happy to report that these went in much easier, and the green against that red armor really provides a much needed pop of color. There's water dripping from its uh, stinger right here. It's like it's poison. It's just dripping poison. Maybe every once in a while they need to purge. <laughs> That's pretty gross, but it is uh, bug aliens we're talking about. So for accessories, the block commander comes with everything that the guard comes with. Same hands, same staff, but in a different color. The other one's staff was brass with some purple accents. This one is more bronze with some yellow accents and that same kind of gun. I was careful this time and didn't break it off. I think I prefer this one to the stark white of the other one. I already went ahead and put a hand in there just to see how that would work. And uh, this is how it works. But yeah, once again, be careful with this tip. This one also wants to do the splits really bad. And uh, probably because it's still heated up from the hot water treatment, just the joints are really loose. It just wants to splay apart. It doesn't want to stand up as well as the other one. So we'll fold the wings back and that should give us some more stability. Yeah, these are definitely ones that you uh, pose once and then never touch again. See, even just moderately moving it around, the leg just kind of cocks inward. And I really like these secondary arms, but you kind of have to work around them when posing the ar other arms. Oh no, I had it in such a good pose, but like the tiniest movement will just send it <sighs> spiraling out of control. <laughs> Sphexians, I love you so much. Why do you do this to me? All right, now to never touch you again. Well, I'm never going to touch you again. Patrick still has to take pictures. So yeah, thanks, uh, thanks for all the um, compliments on the uh, photos at the end of each video, guys. That's all Patrick, the other half of Team Weekly Allowance. He is a fantastic photographer. I have absolutely no patience for photography, um, but he has more than enough and he does a great job. You guys have been uh, really nice lately in the comments and I really appreciate that. All right, so here they are uh, together. Are these guys in a union? I think they should be. So here they are with Zirian. She's a little on the smaller side, and I say that, but she is pretty much like a standard sized uh, action figure. These guys are a little larger, definitely more bulky. I've noticed that the Cosmic Legions characters tend to run a little larger, at least so far. I mean, we've got the Tusk Agents, which are uh, a pretty standard size. They're about Ziri size. I think Vorga is probably about Ziri size, but a little larger, a little thicker. But yeah, like these guys, Kragnar, uh, Olek, Slog, of course, they are just huge, uh, beefy characters. So, <laughs> it, it's been a journey, and thank you for joining me on it. I find these very frustrating, but not so much that I dislike them. These actually were the ones that I was most excited about, especially this one. Well, I was really excited for Ziri too, but I really love this one. So my advice when it comes to these, be careful, take it slow, heat them up, maybe get some blue tack. <laughs> Don't let them do the splits, because they'll never get up just like me. So before we go today, I have one more thing I want to touch on briefly. It has nothing to do with Cosmic Legions. I'm just kind of co-opting this review to promote something. So I made a plushie. Uh, I say I made it, but really um, a factory made it. I just made the design and uh, came in with notes and everything. But he's an original character. His name is The Mayor because he's a mayor. That's why he has a little bow tie because you got to be professional. And uh, at some point I will be launching a Kickstarter to uh, hopefully make more of these. So I will keep you guys updated on that if you're interested. I know this is a toy review channel, not a plushie channel, but I like plushies. I like cute things, and I would really like to um, have more mares made and uh, sent out all over the globe so they can watch you, always watching. Anyway, I think he's really cute and uh, snuggly. So yeah, I will keep you guys updated on that. I'm working on the Kickstarter right now, just getting prices figured out, making stretch goals, doing artwork, uh, stuff like that. 
So thank you so much for watching. Thanks for sticking around to the end. And we will continue our look at the Cosmic Legions line uh, next week. Likes and subscribes are very much appreciated. Comments are more than welcome. And I will see you guys on the next one.